Hey yo, I'm Creato. Today I'll be showing you how to craft and use bundles in the new Bundles of Bravery drop, so you can pack up lots of items and save up space in your inventory for more. Also, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe, as all your support really means a lot. So bundles are a new feature in the Bundles of Bravery drop that allow you to pack items into them. This will be useful for storing many items in a bundle to help save inventory space. And bundles can be crafted using one leather and one string with a leather above the string in the crafting table UI to get one bundle. Also, just in case you didn't know yet, you can get leather from a cow or horse and you can get string from a spider. Each leather and string can craft one bundle and bundles do not stack just like tools and water buckets. And you can also get a preview of the bundle contents by hovering over it to see what items are inside. Each bundle can hold up to a stack of any item. That means if an item stacks to 64, then a bundle can only hold 64 of those items. And if an item only stacks to one, then a bundle can only hold one item. You can put items in a bundle by left-clicking the item on the bundle, or also by dragging the bundle around the inventory and left-clicking on an item to put it in the bundle. This makes it very easy to quickly move items from a chest into a bundle. And bundles also have a progress bar on them, which looks similar to a durability bar that tools and armor have. This progress bar on the bundle icon will slowly move up as the bundle starts to be filled with items. And you can know at a glance how full a bundle is as well as when it is completely full since the progress bar will turn red and display text saying that it is full. And you can also see the items so you then know which items the bundle is full of. Another thing to note is that while a bundle can hold up to 64 items, it will only show the last 12 items that were added to it. And once more than 12 items have been added, it will then instead show a plus with the amount of items that are also in the bundle, but not in the preview. And you can also use the preview to grab items by just hovering over the bundle icon and then scrolling over a specific item. This allows you to select the exact item you want, which you can then left click on to remove from the bundle and place in your inventory. And you will also notice the bundle icon change to show the item you are about to grab along with it being highlighted in the preview. And since bundles can hold many different types of items in them, that means you will need a way to keep track of all your bundles, which you can do by simply dyeing each of your bundles a different color to help keep them all a bit more organized. Bundles can be dyed into 16 colors the same way as wool and other dyeable items. You can use a crafting table to dye a bundle by placing both the bundle and dye in the crafting grid. And just note that the colors on a bundle cannot be mixed, which means a bundle can only be dyed one color at a time. But you can still change the color of a bundle from one to another by simply re-dyeing the bundle again. And a bundle also cannot be undyed, which means that once you have dyed a bundle, it won't be able to go back to its original default color. If you want the default color back, then all you can do is just make a new bundle and leave it undyed. And there is also still more to know about bundles because of the way bundles work with items that have different stack sizes. Each bundle has a limit of 64 items, which applies to most items. But for items that stack to 16, each item counts as 4 space, which is why a bundle is full at a stack of 16 items. And the same goes for unstackable items, which take up the entire space in the bundle. For a bundle that is half full with 32 items, you won't be able to add an unstackable item. But you can add 8 items that only stack to 16. This is because 8 is half of 16, meaning those 8 items are equal to half a stack, which is why it completes the other half in the bundle. But all you need to remember is that a bundle has a limit of 64 items, and items that stack to 64 take up 1 space per item, while items that stack to 16 take 4 space per item, and an unstackable item takes up all 64 space in the bundle. And something else to know is that you are able to put a bundle in a bundle. And even though bundles are unstackable, this is a way to sort of get around it. But note that a bundle takes up 4 space when inside another bundle, as well as the additional items that may be in the first bundle. This means that you can't infinitely store bundles in bundles, since it will eventually run out of space with each bundle taking up 4 space at minimum. This is why when a bundle is full it cannot be put inside another bundle. And if you want to put a bundle in another bundle, then you need to make sure that the bundle holding the other bundle has at least 4 space plus however many other items are in the first bundle. This means that holding multiple bundles in one takes up a lot of space, making it better to just carry all the bundles separately. Bundles can also drop items out of them by simply right-clicking when out of an inventory. And the way this works is that the bundle will drop all of a single item type based on the order it was added going from latest to first. This makes it faster to empty a bundle by dropping its contents since items are dropped in groups of a single item type rather than being dropped one item at a time. And this is just another feature that makes bundles unique from other storage methods like chests and shulker boxes. And while bundles and shulker boxes have some similarities, it's important to know that even though shulker boxes are an unstackable item, they still cannot be placed inside a bundle. 
This makes shulker boxes the only item that cannot be placed in a bundle since all other items can be placed in a bundle, including items that stack to 16, and even all other items that don't stack at all like tools and water buckets. But even though you can't put a shulker box in a bundle, you can still put a bundle in a shulker box. This is really useful because this is a much better way of storing bundles since you can hold more bundles in a shulker box than if you were to put multiple bundles inside one bundle. And it should also be said that bundles work normally with all other containers. This means that you could place a bundle in everything like chests, barrels, inner chests, and any other container you can think of. The only exception to this would of course be a shulker box inside a bundle, as already mentioned. But besides that, bundles work normally just like any other item inside of all other container blocks. And there is still even more to know about bundles, since there are a few other more similarities they share with shulker boxes which help to make bundles even more useful. This includes the fact that bundles will drop all of their contents when destroyed exactly the same as a shulker box would. And this really just means that even if a bundle with netherite items inside gets dropped in lava, all the netherite items will still be perfectly fine. But all the other items, including the bundle itself, will of course be destroyed by the lava or anything else that breaks the bundle. This just guarantees that any netherite items will always be safe when dropped in lava, even if in a bundle. And something else about bundles that is probably expected is the fact that bundles can be renamed. This works the same way as any other item, but renaming a bundle is just another way to keep all your bundles organized. You could rename a bundle to be more specific or to better describe what items are supposed to be in that bundle so you can make sure to always keep everything in order. And along with dying a bundle, renaming a bundle helps to even further organize your items in your inventory, or even chests as well. And now that you know all of this information about bundles, you're probably already thinking of all the different ways that bundles can be used. And there really is a lot of situations where a bundle would be useful because of how easy to craft bundles are. One example would be when exploring around in a cave, you usually get lots of random items in your inventory like ores, mob drops, and just a bunch of other random blocks. Well, with a bundle, you can put all those items inside and help free up lots of other space in your inventory. Here you can see how the inventory went from near full to now empty, which allows you to carry around lots more items with all the extra space. Another example would be in something like a forest where you would find lots of different flowers. You would likely have small amounts of different flower types, and with a bundle they can all be packed down. This just makes bundles very useful for all sorts of situations, since even having just one bundle can help to save a lot of inventory space. So now that you know everything about the new bundles added, you can now go out in your own world and craft tons of bundles in any color you want. And then you can take them around with you as you explore and gather tons of items while keeping them all compact and nicely packed away in your inventory, so you can keep on exploring and keep on collecting.